Okay, um, here in the, the shoulders of Avram uh, with David uh, David Goodwin, and uh, instead of learning Das Tvunos, we're living Das Tvunos uh, these days. Um, it's uh, you know in the middle of this uh, what they're calling a Gal Terror, like a you know, wave of terror attacks uh, across Eretz Yisrael, uh, with of course the epicenter being in Yerushalayim, uh, with stabbings and uh, shootings and uh, a whole. Uh, wave literally of terror everywhere and uh, it's a type of situation that people feel it and people are experiencing it and uh, there's a lot of tsar, several people have been killed uh, and many wounded and uh, a whole country terrorized and we wanted to just uh, speak about it a little bit, try to give ourselves some chizuk and some perspective on a few topics uh, having to do with this and uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, you know, take, take chizuk out of it and I'm um, here again with uh, David Goodwin uh, behind the camera. The first thing I just want to address is uh, just like a hashkafa slash even halacha topic uh, about fear. Uh, I want to address the idea of uh, w w being afraid and uh, the, is it okay to be afraid and how does fear fit in with the idea of uh, bitachon, of, of trust and belief in Hashem. Uh, and in terms of uh, what precautions is a person supposed to take uh, when they're in a situation, you know, I'm getting all sorts of questions now, especially from students, uh, where we basically have the school now on a lockdown that, uh, you know, ex within remote people are allowed to go around, but beyond that, not at all. And uh, people ask me, can I go here? Can I go there? Can I, you know, do, go to this appointment or to shopping? So I just want to address, you know, what, what uh, how does this work? So first of all, just as far as understanding the concept of uh, fear uh, and, uh, and how fear interplays with bitachon, uh, meaning, uh, bitachon means that I have full faith and trust in Hashem, uh, and I, uh, I, I'm putting my hands in Hashem's, uh, my life in Hashem's hands, uh, and, uh, you know, like the famous uh, mashal of the Chovos of uh, you know, a doctor who has all the best abilities and all the best understandings and has my best interests in mind, etc., so that's the doctor that I would go to, uh, and that's who Hashem is. Hashem has all the power and all the ability, and He knows me and what my best interests are and what I need and what the world uh, needs, and bitachon is a person having a sense of uh, being relaxed, having a sense of relief, of realizing that their, Hashem, their, their, hands are, their, their life is in uh, the hands of Hashem. Um, uh, but when a person experiences fear uh, in a situation like this, we go out on the streets and uh, you know, we're looking at cars that are driving and lo uh, aleinu today uh, in a, be a Bezik car, just a, you know, a telephone company car, uh, a person snapped and you know, working at the telephone company and Rahman uh, al killed somebody in Gula. Uh, you know what I mean? So a, a person walks on the street uh, and, uh, you know, uh, looks around, how can a person not have fear? Uh, but then one second, if I'm afraid and I'm experiencing fear and I'm nervous uh, and, I, and I think twice about going out, so doesn't that show that I don't trust in Hashem? Uh, you know, if I believe in Hashem and I have bitachon, uh, not, that, not that nothing's going to happen, right? That we can't trust in Hashem like that. That's a whole other topic. You know, yeah, bitachon doesn't mean, like the Chaznish famously tells us, no, there's no Navi today. It doesn't mean nothing's going to happen, but it means whatever happens, Hashem is taking care of me. And therefore, as long as I'm not being uh, uh, risky, as long as I'm not, I'm not being negligent with my safety, so, so, so Hashem takes care of me, why, why should I experience uh, fear? Uh, now, it could be that there are people that, uh, that uh, experience bitachon uh, in that way, um, and, and literally don't experience the sense of fear. But we'll, we'll see, as we're going to talk about now, that that's uh, abnormal um, and uh, you know, unusual and not, not something that is expected of a person and not something that we're going to see that even the, the highest level uh, human beings uh, achieved, uh, that they didn't experience fear uh, in terms of the emotion of being nervous and concerned and, uh, you know, uh, of, of their surroundings. Um, and the, the main sugya for this, the main source, maybe we've even discussed this in the past, David, I'm not, I'm not sure if it came up, maybe in the Parsha Shurim, etc. But the main uh, sugya, the main uh, topic where this comes up is, is the topic of going out to war. Uh, in the, when the, in, in the Parsha Shoftim, uh, when the Torah describes the procedure for Klai Yisrael going out to war against their enemies, uh, so the Torah tells us that the Moshuach Luchama, uh, the Kohen who is in charge of rallying the troops and uh, davening for them and giving them brachos, uh, so he would he would tell them, I don't remember the psukim exactly, but the, more or less along these lines, uh, Kisira, uh, when you're going to see uh, the, the sus, the rechev, the horses, the chariots uh, of your enemy, am rav mimcha, a, na a nation greater than you, you're going to go Go out there, and you're going to get on the battlefield. You're going to see this massive army that's greater than you. Lo siro mi, lo tiro mi. Don't be afraid of them. Uh, ki, again, I don't remember exactly. It was Hashem who Hashem is the one who goes with you. And uh, you know, and of course, it's not there the pasuk. But who I know saying the hakoach lasos chayil. Right, that's the idea. We know Hashem is the one who's going there. And uh, and the pasuk says lo tira, Don't be afraid of them. 
So the Rambam in the Sefer Mitzvos, right? The Rambam when he learned in his health, so he learns this as a lav. He learns this as a losa, say, that when a person goes to war, if a person goes to war and uh, he starts thinking back to his family and, oh my gosh, what's going to be with my wife and my children and, and, the, and what's going to be with this, you know, this war and this thing, and he experiences fear. So the Rambam says he's over beloved. He's over in a losa, say, because it says, lo mehem, don't be afraid of them. Uh, and, uh, and a person who's afraid is experiencing fear is over in a losa, say. And the Ramban, on his commentary on the Sefer Mitzvah, in this you know, halacha type uh, Sefer, so the Ramban uh, disagrees, and he says, no, that this is not a, uh, a lo sase, it's not la vera, it's a haftacha from Hashem. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a, um, a guarantee, Hashem is giving us a guarantee uh, that, uh, that we don't have to be afraid, there's nothing to be afraid of because Hashem is here fighting for us and going for us, but it's not a lo sase, it's not a love. And he doesn't get into it, he doesn't speak it out in this way, uh, but the Sefer Birchas Peretz uh, from the Stipler Gons, that's how, uh, so he has a piece on this, in Parsha Shoftim, uh, he has a piece where he discusses this, and, and he says that, you know, it can't be that experiencing fear is an Avera. It can't be. That, that's a, it's, an, it's an emotion uh, that is an involuntary emotion. Uh, you know, something happens, uh, forget about the, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, loud noise or something happens, uh, uh, some, uh, something, somebody sees something that poses a threat to them, uh, so fear, experiencing fear as an emotion uh, and reacting to that fear is, is natural and normal.